I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, January 26th, 2023. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Earlier this week, I read a comment from someone who said that they thought that Ramon Dino was going to be in a class by himself on the Classic Physique stage in a few weeks. And if you've seen any of the content that he's been cranking out lately, that comment might not be too far from the truth. Even with the short window between the Arnold and the Olympia, it seems like Ramon's finding little ways to make improvements along the margins. And when you're already one of the best in the world at what you do, a little bit of progress goes a long way. All things considered, he's probably been the most improved athlete in the division over the last 12 months. And if he stays on that trajectory, He's going to be a handful when he touches down in Columbus, Ohio. Now, with all due respect to all the Ramon fans out there, it's probably not a bad idea to temper those expectations a little bit because Urs Kalasinski might have a thing or two to say about that. As we already said, Ramon's looked fantastic as of late, but then again, so has Urs. And the improvements that we've seen from him over the last year and a half or so might be equally as impressive as what we've seen from Ramon. And if you're an Urs fan, you're probably also taking the age factor into consideration here too, because he's so young that he still really hasn't even begun to scratch the surface of his peak yet. So if Ramon shows any cracks in the armor and Urs comes in firing on all cylinders, this one could easily end up sliding in his favor when the final scorecards are tallied. Even though he's not competing in the Arnold, if you're a classic physique fan, you should be excited by what you're seeing from Robert Timms right now, because he looks like he's going to be pretty dangerous this year. Rumor has it that he's under 10 weeks out from making his season debut, and by all accounts, he's on track to hit the ground running at his all-time best right now out of the gate. I don't know what he's been doing over the last year and change, but it's definitely working because his physique is on a completely different level now from where it was even just a few years ago when he was placing top 10 at the Olympia. And depending on where he lands, he might be one of the guys we see punch his ticket to the Olympia early, which will give him plenty of time to make adjustments and cruise into the back end of the schedule. All of my Philadelphia Eagles fans out there who've been watching Jalen Hurts lead their team to one of the best records in the NFL this season know all too well how some things just start to click when an athlete enters into their second full season as a starter. And if you're a Michael Crizzo fan and you just watched your guy sprint his way through a wild rookie season, you should be crossing your fingers and hoping that he goes the Jalen Hurts route this year. Because if that's the case, there are going to be a lot of hurt feelings by the time we reach the Olympia weekend. Crizzo and his team haven't gone on the record to announce their plan for the year just yet, but the early footage that we're seeing from his off-season training camp seems to point in the right direction, which means that if he gets some momentum rolling early in the year, he'll be a handful for any of the guys in last year's top 10 to deal with. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.